The Alliance of Families for Justice is an independent, private, not-for-profit organization. We're pretty new. We were formed in September of 2016. Our mission is to support, empower, and mobilize families of people who are incarcerated and people who have a criminal record. We're a statewide organization, and our office, as I said, is based in Harlem on West 126th Street. It's an all-volunteer organization, and the volunteers are mostly family members who have loved ones incarcerated or who used to have loved ones incarcerated and people who are formerly incarcerated. I was introduced to it by a girlfriend of mine that was going, and both of us have uh, sons that's incarcerated. And she, uh, well, she didn't have to do much convincing, but she convinced me to join because I've been looking for something similar to this, you know, like anything that could give me some support as mm -hmm. trying to uh, get my son out of prison, you know, if it's any loopholes or anything that can be, you know, reached. There isn't one specific reason for why I'm doing it. I'm passionate about what Alliance of Families for Justice represents and what the ethos is and the, the plans that we have as a way to accomplish some of the goals. And the March for Justice really fits in very well with that. Um, you know, being that we are marching from Harlem to Albany to raise awareness about the violations and abuses that are taking place in the prisons and jails is close to my heart because I have a loved one that's incarcerated. Well, my wife was incarcerated for nine and a half years. <clears throat> she's out now. She's been out a couple of years now. And during the course of that time, you know, I got a first-hand account on the effects of mass incarceration on individuals. Mm -hmm. I was fortunate enough to have a lot of support from family members, church members, mm -hmm. you know, and friends. And even though I had all of that support, it was still very difficult. Mm -hmm. So I could only, you know, imagine uh, the challenges people have that don't have that kind of support. And there are a lot of people that don't have family support, organizational support, you know, or, you know, from churches or whatever. They, they're going through a really difficult time.